Oh yeah! <laughs> Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. I thought you were gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to my left, Jeff. To my right, Frankie. And of course, we got our guest at the place. Oh yeah! Dylan is back with us. <laughs> Gentlemen, how the hell are we doing this week? I evening. I can't wait to listen back to that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> to, for the people who are not watching the video, I had Jeff and Frankie both grabbing me by my thighs, trying to jerk me off. No, it's no. Just, I didn't touch them. I promise you. Unless your uh, dick's on your thigh, which I doubt. Oh, but, oh Louis, yeah. I had a whole lot of meat in my hand. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I had two hands, and I had a handful of Jeff's thumb. I was getting ready to snap that fucker oh. off. That was your hands on my balls? Got the softest hands in the world. Oh, yeah. Like I squeeze and work. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, it's a uh, another late night podcast for us. We're starting this one at just before one o'clock. So still early. These fucking clowns are hammered. Like I'm perfectly fine. You I don't know. What feel like you're lying to me, bro. No it's Taco Bell. Talk Went to a Halloween Bell. party. Hello. Halloween party. Happy Halloween, everybody. Yes. Halloween is my yeah. favorite season. Uh, that's a good season. It's a uh, orange colors, bear colors. Bears. Hey, there we go. Bear down. Bear down, bro. Basic Mitch. <laughs> 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 it's my new nickname. Hold, hold on, that is the best nickname for Mitch I have heard ever. Basic Mitch <laughs> is so fucking fitting and perfect. Well, he's just one of those guys that you know. He's basic. He drinks Just spice basic. lattes. Right, like, you know what I mean? Like, and wears hot. boots and scarves. <laughs> he can be hot as fuck, but then he starts talking wait. and throwing passes. But wait a minute, Frankie, like, oh, weren't God. you the one saying you're going to get a pair Mitch. of Ugg boots? I do want to get a pair of Ugg boots. Tom Brady so over here. <laughs> God, I want to just fucking... <laughs> I'm fighting every year just to whip the backhand out. So I actually seen this shoe on, I think it was like Instagram for... Uh, it's like a work boot, and they're like... I don't know, cars running over the shoe and shit and stepping on nails and he's looked like they're invincible, I guess. I don't know what they're made out of. Same thing the fucking Wolverine has running through his bones. Adamantium. But, yeah, there they're adamantium <laughs> shoes. So I seen these fucking things and they got fur ones that have fur inside. I'm getting them for fucking winter this year. It's probably I'm gonna get a pair of those and Uggs because they just look too comfortable. Mm. Yeah, talking to the front of that microphone. I'm <laughs> it's so fucked up. All right, All right so we put what's a, the front over here? I don't right there. This way? See how Is much better that sounds? I didn't. God, I'm at the break my neck over here. Oh hey, look see, at that. He we fixed it. See, <laughs> I don't know how he fucking he did started, that. But guess what? Yellow. <sighs> That's yeah. right. It's rough being the tech guy. How <laughs> would that look like? It was so and the computer like guy that. and the sound <laughs> guy and the video guy. <laughs> You are like the Cordell Stewart of podcasts. You are. It, it's we fun. Should be, just call you Slash. It's fun. It's fun being the producer of these fucking idiots. Oh. I mean, so so we put it up on our Instagram story, but you will get to see Frankie get his lifestyle bat suit. Am I allowed? Can I just can I show a little bit of it? Can show the bat it? symbol. Look can you that. see you it on what? camera? It just looks like a dick on your chest. <laughs> Because all we see is this microphone. Look, it's hidden. I feel like that makes him even wonder more. Maybe we'll show it later. No, Maybe it's we'll just go it on our Instagram. Just go on the. Just go on the gentleman's then. Dude, Instagram. we're thirsty for followers. Yeah. So, uh, it's cuffing season. We tease? need to lock these people down for the winter. <laughs> Fucking hot girl summer turned into Best. fuck boy fall. Hell Best yeah. time of the year. Ladies, watch out for them neck tattoos, gray sweatpants, and unemployment checks. Oh, it's cuffing season. Cuffing season <laughs> is real. <laughs> Woo. All the good moves dudes are coming and, out. Dudes and ladies be locking people down. Getting them Christmas presents or breaking up right before Christmas. Well, who wants no, to to you the wait show? till after Christmas. How dare you? Right. No, who you break to... up before Valentine's Day. That's what it is. No, That's as, a true as, as soon as the, the, you know, the weather starts to change. That's when it happens. Just everybody once, once girls start wearing sundresses, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> well, yeah. The sundress is every man's kryptonite. It is. Sundresses. I don't know what it is about over. sundresses. And everybody, every man gets the, ooh, yoga pants do it, though. Dude, it's been getting cold around here. 
And yeah. the one thing that really fucking bothers me is watching people in California <laughs> when it's like fucking <laughs> 70 degrees and they have beanies and, and sweaters on. And they're like, it's cold. It's, God, so it's cold, cold today. as fuck. Oh, oh, I woke up today and it was 65 <laughs> degrees. Oh, I'm freezing. I often wonder. Fuck you. Is that just, it's got to be just like a, like a style thing, right? Just a fashionable thing to wear yeah, a beanie. Yeah, well, they can't be cold. Their head can't be cold. No, It's fucking 70-something points. degrees. Yeah, it's, but you got to think about it, though. If you live in that temperature, you know, 80 plus degrees at all times when it hits 65 it's like 30 here that is true it's kind of yeah, like, true put it this way like remember we'd be on the boat and you'd be in the sun all fucking day and then as soon as the sun goes down you're like freezing cold and yeah, it's well, still like 70 degrees the sun out. heats the earth does no it? way it's bro science look the at flatter? this kids <laughs> we got fucking yeah, when it gets that's because the sun Sean, that's because the sun rotates around the flat Earth <laughs> and it heats it up evenly like a pizza when you flip it. <laughs> it's you a know, pizza it's pizza basically oven. the guy who designed a pizza oven basically took the science of from the sun. Yeah, so it's heating a, the Earth. So the Earth is the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, uh, and there goes our flat Earthers. They're not listening no more. Did I let you guys know that? Uh, I got extremely fucked up at my sister's Halloween party. Did you? What do you mean, like an hour I ago? I did. <laughs> yeah. So you're I'm extremely talking. fucked up now. That's good. <laughs> talking inversion table, Jameson shots. Oh <laughs> Fully <my> inverted. <laughs> Fully inverted. Hey, Fully I'm not going to lie. I was inverted. God, I was impressed. I was fucking impressed. Yeah, well, Hanging I got six to pictures. midnight. Of that. Ooh, there are? I got oh, pictures of we that. We might have to put those up. Uh, we'll on, put those up on the old IG, too. No, Sh- you know, let's be honest. IG? Sean, what, send him to Sean. Because yeah, <laughs> well, I'm not going yeah. on Instagram. Get, you got to give him consent, though. You know what I'm saying? There's fucking rules and shit. I got to give Jeff for consent what? for our no, fucking... Dylan. Dylan. Sending you a picture. Oh, well, you have to, like, pay him royalties. Yeah, he okay. gets royalties, bro. He took that picture. Yeah, he, he, gets, he gets royalties. What's, it, what's your royalties? <laughs> a friendly smile and a handshake? Hey, man. I'll take a grand for each picture. <laughs> well, you can show up your pictures right for your pictures? Ass. I wonder when someone, like a news company, is like, hey, I want that picture, that video, of what you have. I wonder what they say. Oh, they're like, hey, you know, is it, what's the going rate for a picture? I don't know, man. Depends Call on what it is, bro. You know TMZ's paying some big money. What if it's like a really good picture that you can make a fucking viral meme out of? <laughs> you can make a meme out of anything. You can make a meme out of a I feel like that's Jeff's specialty. Frankie, he loves to make memes. you're a fucking walking meme. I mean, sometimes right. shit that comes out of your mouth <laughs> needs to be a meme. All knowledge. knowledge. It's either something you should do or something you should not what do. What happened to that guy? What guy? That fucking was he- here in his garage with his Lamborghini. <laughs> Just here in my garage. Oh, my Lamborghini, Ty, yeah. Ty yeah. Lopez. He's still there, dude. You know what I like more about this Lamborghini? Knowledge. <laughs> no. Knowledge. Facts. All his leather Facts. all his leather bound books. It smelled like rich mahogany. <laughs> I used to love it. Jesus. Hey baby. I, I that, for Rob, my that's, that's where I pick up girls. I'm just like, I don't know how to read like, well. Like, Can you teach me the letters? He said I was dumb and couldn't read good. Oh, baby, no, <laughs> let me teach you. We'll hang out. Read me a bedtime story. <laughs> that was the great, the greatest uh, pickup artist thing I ever did was I used to DJ at this hotel. And then afterwards, the bartender and, and everybody who worked there went swimming in the pool. I was like, I don't know how to swim. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> She's that, like, really? I was like, yeah, I have no idea how to swim. It's three she's like, here, let me hold you. Yeah, she's holding me. I'm kicking. Just <laughs> <laughs> she's holding me like a little baby. Jeff's got two floaties on his arms. It's like, how am I doing? She's like, oh, you're doing so good. <laughs> That's what women love, though. They we love to fix men. They do. There's, we all have so many problems. They and do. They just want to make that it That was my better. greatest achievement in life, <laughs> pretending I didn't know how to swim. I would, Jesus. I would say that's a PSA, guys. You ever at the beach with a female? Just, just looks like you really want to go in the water, but can't. And she's gonna be like, "What's, what's going on? Why with don't this you guy? go in? I just, can't swim." Well, it's, is that like the? <laughs> she's gonna hold you. Is and that she's like, gonna guide you through it because their <laughs> motherly instinct kick in. It's just, yeah. And then that's when you pounce. Is that like the Adam Sandler in Fifty First Dates where he's like crying at the? 
countertop because he pretending he can't read the fucking menu. Yeah, that could be me. I'm telling you. Yes, Frankie, that's, but you're not gonna be crying because you can't read. Why do you think I order the same thing at every restaurant? Because I know they have it and I don't have to read the menu. Right. Do you have breakfast all day? <laughs> yes, we do, sir. Great. I'll have, I'll have an omelet. omelet. Ham and cheese <laughs> omelet. Can I get a white milk with the meal? <laughs> they always fucking forget it. You had one job. One job. Yeah. Why don't you just wait till they bring your meal out and then say, hey, can I get a white milk? Because I'm usually too fucked up to remember. Oh, so I would have put it into you. the full order. You're getting sloppy. You know what, though? Age. You know what? I'm not going to lie. There are some waitresses and waiters out there that do bring the milk. And those are the guys that get they get that big tip. Oh, the fatty tip. You know what I'm saying? That big tip. Gotta take care. Pay it forward. In all honesty, Jeff and I used to go to Hooters, and the service wasn't great. Oh, I was but they so always bad. got a hundred percent tip on the fucking bill. That's because like every time we we, we would each go, go with a fifty. Yeah, and dinner would be fifty bucks. We chuck. We each throw a fifty on the fucking table, and then we paid. That was yeah. it. Double it down. Unless they didn't have chicken tenders anymore, then we'd just get up and walk out. So upset. Well, it's heartbreaking. As soon as I the- hate when a place like that's like we talked about TGI Fridays with the mac and cheese bites. As yeah. soon as they stop serving them, <laughs> we got up and left. <laughs> so last time we went to up. Hooters, we're like, hey, let me get those buffalo chicken strips. Yeah, we don't have those anymore. Deuces. Right, we out. out. I'm out. <laughs> stop and then they, they just look at you like, you going to pay for that really? water? We ain't nah. paying for shit. Mm-mm. If you if you got something good though, as an industry, why take it away? They gotta tease you, right? Exactly. That's like the fucking McRib that fucking like McDonald's. McRib. Oh, how yeah. dare you? Seasonal. Ugh. It's seasonal. Ugh. No one wants to eat that shit anyways, but because it's limited time and it comes back, they're like, I need it. People just murder it's those. Be, oh my yeah, god! My brother destroys them probably two to three times a week. <laughs> your <laughs> your brother so it's showing on your brother. Yes. Every time I see a picture of him on Facebook, his head has gone three. Every How old time. are you, brother? How old am I? I don't know. He's younger than all. Of <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, he's twenty-eight. He just looks his lip like pierced? he's forty, and he did just <laughs> pierce his lip. <laughs> like he's going just through did? a midlife crisis at, at twenty-eight, 28 years, years old. He pierced his lip. No, dude, I pierced my did. lip at what? How old was I? I was like twenty-two. 20, yeah, twenty-one, twenty-two. I did. Yeah. That. It was in my basement, was wasn't 21. it? You goddamn right it was. Where else do you <laughs> get your lip pierced? <laughs> Jeff wasn't paying for that shit. <laughs> tattoo shop. Oh, fuck. Tattoo piercing shop. place. Now this guy's needle. like, dude, I'll do it. Sterilized needle. Like, yeah, what is that? It, dude. Jeff was. Jeff's like, I ain't going to Claire's again to get my lip <laughs> pierced. <laughs> Not again. Dude, I got a good times, dude. He was a true gentleman. Yeah, professional. He pierced a bunch of nipples down there. Remember that one dude when <laughs> Mostly he pierced his tongue and he hit the fucking, he hit the vein. The shit was bleeding out crazy. You filled up on a hole. nipple. There's no, veins in your no, nipples. I, I, oh, the uh, tongue. his tongue. He was like doing the two on the front sides. So like it was like a I don't know. I guess they call it something like a snake a bite. A dick track. Yeah, <laughs> it's a dick track. Is what that is. That's sure. like yeah, uh, the the bumpers at a bowling alley. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, yeah. <laughs> you just keep <laughs> so, so you can track. keep the dick in there. through. <laughs> just boop. <laughs> And yeah, he hit a vein, and he fucking ended up like just holding his tongue out, bleeding straight. And he filled up a whole fucking solo cup. He's like he didn't bleed out. Uh, he pretty much passed out. Well, yeah, I would too. Well, he lost a quart of blood. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. you know what I mean. Good times. You know what I mean. We did smart things when we were young. Yeah, so who I'm doesn't? saying the show is such a PSA. Knowledge. It is. Channel. This is a knowledge channel. Right, learning. Brown. Learning channel. <laughs> if I only knew how to read. We're supposed to be doing a podcast right now. What yeah, I'm sorry. I had to look at that. Right. That's that's called karma, what I just watched. Karma. What goes around comes around, She dickhead. is beautiful. Well, are you going to explain the story? No, I'm not even giving it the time. Giving them the time of day. Sounds like a good idea because there's some shithole bar. It's actually kind of a nice place, but they it's just a great bar. shitty It's a legendary service. bar, <laughs> and they... Fucking decided because Frankie and Kayla got into it with the manager. I totally a, didn't fight anybody because he was being a douche nozzle. Because I was there. I feel like almost now, like that's yeah, 100%. all right. So I'm not saying any name, like you said. I won't give him that satisfaction. But when the dude came on stage when you guys were DJing and said that bitch needs to get off the stage, talking about Jeff's lady, lady. Is and the problem is with him. Is that's not the problem. The problem is when he grabbed her by her arm and p- tried to pull her off stage. Yeah, is when I got involved. 
And then, of course, you call security, and then, of course, it takes, like, six fucking people to pull Unity. us off. I love that, like, Jeff just stopped DJing and he's like, I'm just going to get in this. Fuck it. But as a calm person I was, I was like, what, 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 what are you guys doing? Yeah. I was what is happening right now? Very politely telling him. So you always, wasn't. you got to kill him with kindness. Bro. Right. That's you how you do me. it. Oh, I wanted to kill him with a brick. <laughs> I get a lie to you. <laughs> well, it, it was, it was a tiny, very tiny incident. Yeah. I love when someone gets all jacked up and chesty and you're just like, bro, right. why are you doing this right now? Like, what are you, what are you, what are I you will, doing? What I are will you kiss you on the mouth well, so that, hard. Bro, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm you not just scared. stripped on butt naked. I'm not scared to fight. <laughs> I, I don't fight fair, so I will straight up jerk your dick off. I'm and now I'm you. not fucking around. I don't give a fuck. Like, you want to go? It's fucking survival of the fittest, bro. I will jerk your dick off. You want to fuck around? Let's go. Well, it's different in a street fight. And That's what I'm saying, bro. There's no rules. We'll well, I know, but crazy. We'll, we'll be sponsored fights soon. <laughs> Let's get their dick jerked off. That's like no, when you got when you even. when you got jumped at that you went to a college party and you mm-hmm. got jumped by a bunch of people. I was like, dude, how many dicks did you kick? You're like, what? Yeah, I didn't I'm kick like, no dude, dicks. it's just fucking it's a street, street fight. fight. There ain't no you're referee. Just, you're just punting people into the fucking atmosphere. Yeah, it was, everyone's. If, if I'm getting jumped by six dudes, all bets are off. I'm kicking it. everyone it was more like in the fucking dick on five people, you're, bro. You're kicking dicks. You're biting ears. Yes. You're Mike Tyson. You're clawing and scratching. Everybody clawing, scratching. Yeah, they, they, it, it was for an fight. object. Or you have a fist of God like I do, and you just knock the one dude out, and everybody stops fighting because they got to oh, pick their buddy up. Not everybody can crow be hops. six four. I crow hop some people and fuck some people up. Don't get me wrong, but when they're breaking bottles over people's heads and like. Yeah, I'm out. They fight they're like they're literally grabbing chicks by the by hair and fucking uppercutting them and shit. And like, it lasted what you feel like is a long time, but it was like 15 minutes before cops right. It's like up. boom, it's over. But it felt like an eternity. Dude, you were no, 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 no. it literally took forever. The only thing that saved our lives was some football players came out of their houses and tried to break it up, and they tried fighting them, and then they got their asses whooped because they're football players and they make. Tackles on Saturdays. Hey, man, I'm, I'll am i give it up to that school's fucking football team. They literally saved our lives. My one buddy had a broken jaw, a broken eye socket, uh, bleeding of the brain. He had to be flight for life out of the hospital because it was like 15 minutes of him getting kicked in the face. Mm. And that's why you don't go to college, kids. Yeah, higher <laughs> careful. learning. Careful. And that was at literally a, a, a private in party in a house, and these dudes just walked in, and they were like, we're fucking here to party. And they're like, nah, sorry, pri- private party. You can't come in, blah, blah, blah. And they just started pulling the owner and his girlfriend out of the house and beating their ass for no fucking reason. Yeah, well, people are fucked up. That's what I'm saying, bro. I don't fight for you. I'll jerk your dick off. Let's go. I wouldn't go that far, but I'm kicking, <laughs> you, I'm kicking your fucking dick the only and balls. That, the only people that pick fights with Jeff are old guys at bars. <laughs> <laughs> you did get your ass kicked by like a, what was that? What would you say, 70-year-old man? Yeah, well, I wouldn't call getting my ass kicked. What mean, do you mean, my, bro? My you came, you showed up with stitches window. the next day. Yeah, it, that's true. You lost the fight. I had more stitches than him, so <laughs> technically I did lose that fight. A fight breaks out, this old man just goes, ah! <laughs> the fucking Jean-Claude Van Damme. Like an old fucking Western. Just I wanted no brawling. part of this fight. I was enjoying watching it from the background. And, of course, this happened after I left. I, I always miss the fun stuff. Because they knew. As soon Typical. as you left. As soon as I so left. You're setting the scene. You're, you're in a bar, left. and all of a sudden, a bar, a, a bar fight breaks out and with one group of people over here. And then the next thing you know, over here, another group of people start fighting. Yeah, and, and I'm just sitting and watching it, enjoying it. I wanted no part of this. Jeff and some a, 60-year-old man just that was standing right in front of me just <laughs> locks eyes with me and says, yeah, and just grabs me and starts coming at me. I'm like, what are you doing as I'm holding his wrist? And then my arm went out the fucking front window. Let's just yeah. watch the fight together. Yes, right. enjoy this shit. Look at this. That old man was going back to his youth. He's like, I'm fucking sucker punching he had somebody. flashbacks yeah. from fucking nine. Someone's nom. getting hit. Someone's getting it. <laughs> Guarantee had flashbacks from fucking Nam or something. Right. Also, you just heard helicopters. So <laughs> <laughs> I love the smell of napalm in the morning. What the fuck, man? This guy took it too far. Way too far. And shit was that, that was when fucking real wars were 
fucking hand to hand combat and fucking <laughs> running up being the front line. Like fuck all that shit. Now people are hiding behind computers and like. I will drone the shit out ELE, of somebody. ELE, like I said a million oh, times, yeah. bro. Everyone love everybody. That's what you needed in that tree Just fight. think of like, <laughs> next time you guys are going to fight someone, just look up at the stars. You know you what I mean, it, man? Well, just uh, know that you're uh, Actually, stardust. next time you're going to fight someone, just keep backing away if you don't want to get punched in the face. Did you see yeah, that video? So, you know, those personal drones with like the fucking... Yeah. You know, you can control from your like cell phone and shit. Are you saying you got one because you've been wanting one for years? I have been. But this guy is has been bitching and complaining about his neighbors throwing house parties. So he put a fucking Roman candle on his drone oh, yeah. and <laughs> sent it no up in the air and he's yeah. launching fucking missiles. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this guy should be... That's the gentleman of the week. Right. right. Well, watching Nominate it, you're like, him. holy fuck, dude. This is the future. Right. This is what's going to be happening. Did you see the one they have now for... To take the giant hornets' nests out that have flamethrowers on them. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! That's insane, nice. dude. Oh my it god! It shoots like a fucking sixty-foot flame out of the front of it. All right, we gotta get one. Also, I feel like that's just bad. and then just a man. fire. Right, like if we're like hanging outside and it's kind of cold, we could just have it above us. And yeah, just and just light us spit fire and light the neighbor on fire. Give Hardy be like Let's Kevin Hart and stand up and shit. He's fire on these bitches. I would love to get one of those fucking boring flamethrowers, but they're like. That you got a bug assault. As That's fuck. enough. Yeah, the bug assault's legit. You should have, I get it you out. Have literally... We're on camera now. <laughs> I can show everyone. I feel, I feel like you should. We're not. We're them. not sponsored by them, so no. Fuck them. So yeah. you give us a case of free guns. What? We yeah, can't give it shit. shit. You guys with? Yeah, it. but it's a cool product that I like, so okay. they get a free shout out. And grab your gun. Assault. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Why? Yeah, he's got to go. Look at him. Like he's, he's like go walk super far again. Super far away. He's standing in front of the mic like. As he's looking at me through his glasses, making I know he's fucking looking at me. And he's going back. <laughs> there you go, Ever the bug so of salt. Oh my god! Fill Look it up with that. table it's salt. A, it's a fucking. Oh, it was already <laughs> cocked. Who the hell had it already? No, I, j- no, I just, just cocked it. You son of a bitch. You heard it. Flies don't stand a chance in this fucking garage. Do not shoot that. Ooh, my glasses on. I look like the fucking Terminator. You look like the Sperminator. Terminate. You'd be like Terminator, like nine. That the flies dude. are all around. Come on, fly, fucking land. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's fucking impossible to shoot them out of midair. They have to like land. So you're like, <sighs> I feel like that's even. It gets more me the on challenge. my feet. This is like right. an old man's cardio. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of sitting in my chair, I'm on my feet. Pacing my garage, just waiting for flies to land. I've actually so watched you fuck just them shoot them off your leg. <laughs> We're waiting for them to land. On I'm not you. gonna lie, that thing gives a good little sting. It's it's a little it's a little it's it, a little nip. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that thing's serious, bro. I just got covered in salt, bro. Oh, now you smell like a margarita. Bug of salt, not a sponsor. Not Go a sponsor. Go and get one. I like it. I enjoy. It. Hours of fun. I'm just gonna hold it like this for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> Well, you do have the 1980s jumpsuit on, too, so I it actually yeah, kind of all fresh. matches. It's looking fresh. Uh, we have another video going up today, too. Or oh, do we? Of the 50-50-50. Ooh. Mm. Jeff loves. Infomercial style. The 50-50-50s. Dylan, Dylan's on the 50-50-50 right now. I've been He's, rocking that. It's See? Long time. Long time now, General. Long time now. It's, uh, Jeff got me hooked. Showed perfect. me the ways, and that was it. It's the perfect mixture for is it any not? any size glass. It is. All any you size. need sometimes is one. Any size. Sometimes ten. Yeah, it's never one. Depends yes. on it the has day. never it been one. It depends on the day, though. Yeah, I'm on my, like, fourth. It has never been Tonight. one. Fourth? Yeah. You're a goddamn savage. Goddamn um, animal. <laughs> just pretty drunk. Not much of a savage. I was going to say, yeah, you're not much of a drinker, so. No. Where were your guys' costumes tonight? I did you not see me? I came as a truck driver named Jeff. I was like, oh, so that's two times for Halloween you went as me. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get off his dick, man? Yeah, bro. Jesus you want to go with something else? No, I'm not gonna lie. You gonna go was, with Sean next year? That was such a good costume. He needs to put stilts right, on. I didn't have a costume <laughs> to wear, so I decided I was and just gonna write beard. his tattoos on my yeah, fucking arms, and I wore these fucking headphones around my neck. Mm. And I just acted like a beat off all night, like I was a DJ. <laughs> I was DJ fucking J Dub. I think that was a great costume. Fuck off. My costume was awesome, dude. Like I want half bread ginger. Are you a ginger? I don't know. 
No. He's a ginger what, beard. So yeah. yeah, you have a red, red beard. beard. So you, I, to me, like I look at you, you're ginger right now. Well, a lot of people have red beards. Blonde hair. Young Zachary has a red beard. I'm yeah, and so he has confused. blonde hair too. But is he a ginger? He's not a ginger. He's not a ginger. So a ginger beard. He, he has a soul. A ginger? So if he he has a soul. I don't know, bro. You said your it, pubes are black, and they're not. Whatever. They're brown. Whatever. They're Eat not. It. I don't know, but that crap. I'm that not gonna lie, there Jeff. You were like the only one. You're the only ones he showed his pubes to. So well, he's like, I'm not a ginger. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? He's like, my beard's red. I'm like, yeah. So my pubes are black. I'm like, let's see them. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't black. What color like you know were they then? then? They're like a rich mahogany. Yeah. <laughs> Dark burgundy. They're a burgundy. Look like They're Ron a- Burgundy's <laughs> fucking blazer. Yes. That's what it looked like. So, yeah. Same thickness. <laughs> I'm saying I'm so then D- Dylan's a ginger, but your brother's not a ginger. How's that fair? Because your brother's got blonde hair and a red beard. Yeah, but the, do you see his pubes? What color are his pubes? Do you guys have to fill that out on a job up. application? I do. It they, they ask if it's ginger or not. If you have a soul, are you ginger or not. I don't know. What do the, the uh, I don't know what do the doors at the grocery it. store open for you when you step on the mat? What is your <laughs> what is, <laughs> depends on what does your driver's license say for a hair color? I don't even know. I couldn't even tell you. Bro, how do you not know? It's, it's got to say blonde. It's blonde. It says blonde. It's got to say blonde. So the cop right off the bat is going to be like, this guy's a stone face liar. He's a fucking liar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ticket. He's going to take, gonna take your head off. Sure. <laughs> take your head off. Blonde. It says here you're blonde. Blonde by nutsack. Let's That's see your pretty- pubes. <laughs> 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 like, what? Yeah, pubes or ticket. Take your pick. <laughs> All right, fuck it. <laughs> Pull them. Pull them but pubes I'm just shamed, out. officer. Don't gingers have freckles? I don't think I have freckles. I don't know. You don't have no freckles anywhere on your body? Yeah, they only got freckles. No. I don't know. Jeff's got freckles. Does that make him Fucking a ginger? Fucking ginger. <laughs> Are you ginger? I have freckles. I'm not a ginger. That's so what I'm saying. You got to have freckles. Almost like a lot freckles, of people. But not like crazy freckles. I don't know. Yeah, maybe not. I'm maybe so not 100%. What am I? How, what if how you're can you just be a what's your nationality? You you're a goddamn American. That's what you That's are, what son. Is. What's you your, na- what's got, your nationality? I got Irish. Oh yeah, oh, ginger yeah, you're for ginger. sure. Then <laughs> <laughs> you got at least a quarter in there. Are, I mean, yeah. I'm not. I'm t- He's gingers cool all the way, ginger, bro. I'm cool like, with it. You know, I just need to know. Yeah, it's fine. You got you got to know Shaughnessy somewhere in your fucking. But how does that work, though? Do you like are you like so? If you're a quarter ginger, you're just ginger, right? I guess. So we'll take it. Can somebody please comment on this and let us know <laughs> how Dylan's to determine like what level do you have to ginger be to debate? Be, am I ginger. fully ginger? Am I twenty five percent ginger? Am I quarter? What's going on? How What's you, his gingerness? Can you tan? No, that then no, you're ginger. absolutely not. You I just burn. I turn burn red, red like a lobster. <laughs> And then I go straight back to white. That's like it, nothing ever happened. That's my lady, dude. She's <laughs> like nothing ever happened. She's got the my lady is fucking Sicilian, and she is two colors, red and white. <laughs> Usually Sicilians are tan. Uh-huh. Yeah, but not, not my lady. ginger ones. She didn't get the dark part of Sicily. See, my girl is She super got northern tan. Sicily, not southern mm-hmm. Sicily. Super tan. See, that's what I'm saying, but she's and Irish I'm trying too, to right? lose weight, and she cooks nothing she but Irish pasta. It's <laughs> just... <laughs> It's is just carbs Irish? for taste. Well, yeah, she's, oh, she no. told me today. She's like, I used that turkey ground meat instead of that. Be, I was like, yeah, what, what is that? How dare? She, how what are you doing? What, turkey she, did ground you know that she does that something? To you? Yeah, she makes I buy it. What, uh, what is? It have you ever had it? Gra- yeah, obviously you make it for us and don't tell me that what it is. I'm just turkey ground. Up and you yeah, it's just ground turkey. It's, ground turkey. It's just a protein. Just you're, you're, what's wrong and with it's beef? like fucking ninety five percent lean, you yeah. son of a bitch. You're po- you're you. pouring it on a goddamn. It doesn't matter because you season, season it. Yeah, it's seasoned the, all the shit. How so you have you. no idea if I were to give you fucking that or actual beef or whatever the fuck it I is. I just don't want to be misled. You would know. Don't make me think that. Then I'm I'll eating. let you know. I'll have a sign as soon you as you walk in the kitchen. Prepare Taco to have Bell. some fucking lean beef. No, I did not. <laughs> lean just turkey. Eat Taco Bell. I ate Taco Bell. What did you eat? McDonald's. The Golden Arches. And Taco Bell. Do you like... How far away like are that? you getting... What do you mean this is like a cheap weekend? Your mic keeps... No, do you <laughs> like is, is it lower? <laughs> I didn't... I don't Every know. five seconds. Is it? I have, I have been hunching over. <laughs> Look, so is like, that comfortable? It's... You know it adjusts, right? 
Yeah, I can tell, <laughs> motherfucker. It's obviously adjusting at its own. Slowly. No, I'm gonna keep fucking. Well, I don't want to touch the mic, bro. It's hot. You know what I'm saying? Well, it gets loud. Sometimes it yeah, gets I loud. So I'm just grab it here. I, look at I don't want it. To, look at Big Bear. He's a goddamn professional. Francis, so lock majestic. it up. <sighs> you know. See, is your and, phone on silent? Me and Dylan are on some fucking real shit. Fitty, fitty, fitty. I don't I know, what the hell you guys are on? Uh, Bro, that mic. careful. Yeah, you what know are you what? Doing? You guys just fucking talk normal, and then you won't fucking hear shit, all right? Uh, oh, God, God, suckers. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Jeff, we had, some, fuck, we had right. some talk today Ooh. about content, and we don't even know, remember what it was. Hey, well, it's on What's my, content? It's on my, I, I put it in the notes in my phone. Ah, my phone so, is it was dead. Some, it was some good shit. Too. I'm pretty sure I'm always just over Let here. Let me tell now. you. Oh, Do I you wanted, have your phone with you? No, I bet right. it's dead. Oh, fuck. It's upstairs. <laughs> it's dead. Charging. Bitch. Charging. It's dead. So let me tell you about the asshole of the year. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a story about this. Is it, um, wait, is it you? <clears throat> huh? All right, no, I thought, it was, ding, I thought ding, you were ding. nominating yourself. No. No. So there's this, uh, God, I don't, I don't even know where to start with this story. <laughs> it's so fucking bizarre. There's this uh, high school football team. And they uh, they went to state. I don't know if they won the championship or not. I apologize to everybody, but the star running back got ejected from the game. So, why? dude, what do you what do you mean? What am I under questioning? I don't know why. You don't know why he, he got, got ejected. He got ejected he got from ejected. the game. Right, so right. the rule was the next season. Details. Facts. I'm leaving him out, bro. The oh. next season, the next season, he had to sit out a game, and All he's right. their star running back. What do you think the coach did? Did he sit him? Nope. He played him anyways. How's that even allowed? You're he changed. He <laughs> changed his number, and they changed his name <laughs> <laughs> to an imaginary name. And said he was a freshman and that he earned a spot on the team because he played so good in practice. <laughs> so no. now the coaching staff, the entire coaching staff got fired. They're 9-0 and this year. The entire coaching staff got fired. And their whole season is over. It's done. Suspended. Wow. <laughs> it's it's, it's just like you... the NCAA when you pay for players. What lengths would you go I mean, dude, it's one game. How do you game. think that's gonna work, though? One game. But uh, yeah, in all honesty. You, so it, Leon Sandcastle. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know that reference. So his number was four, I guess, the previous year. So they changed it to twenty-four. Oh. And the reason just left four out of it, maybe they wouldn't have got caught. The reason they got, uh, well, one of the reasons they got caught is because the kid had tattoos and. They didn't even cover him up. <laughs> yeah, wear a shirt. And he had a full beard. <laughs> Look a little different. I would try to change your appearance. 36. Like, hey, isn't that guy the same guy from last year? <laughs> right. But how fucked up is that? Like, well, high know, school, hey man, dude, that's crazy to, how competitive high school sports Yeah, you are. could go Fuck. to high, you know, Like, this coach to, wants to win state so fucking bad. What would you do for for? Like, you're still greatness. probably going to go to the championship, right? I mean, what's one loss? You know Just what? sit him for yeah. that first game. Fuck and, it. and they probably wouldn't have lost that first game if they're a good football team. If your best player is a running back, you got to have good. You got to have good <laughs> shit around them. Jeff, I'm just saying. How is your team? Well, in usually, high school? usually high school, you you have star running backs. Oh, That's how you it? get going. It's not usually quarterbacks. All right, so my my sophomore year. Uh, no, it's my junior. So the sophomore year, the the team went to state, and then uh, I don't know something happened where the. Junior year, the quarterback got suspended for the whole drinking, fucking season. Drinking. Oh, not naturally. <laughs> drinking tickets. So the quarterback got fucking suspended. So we had a bomb-ass bomb ass running back, and then there was another running back come up that was fucking awesome. And, uh, yeah, we just direct snapped to the running backs <laughs> That's all how we did it. fucking year. <laughs> just wildcat. It. it was wildcat the whole year. And defenses still couldn't stop it, which is And sad. he broke the Wisconsin State rushing record. <laughs> and he is now a doctor. Hey, that's what I'm saying, though, man. Like, the crazy thing is, though, like how – I mean, he was a phenomenal player, like running back and linebacker. And the difference between, like, high school and college, 
So like he was night and day. He was the best running back in the state. Broke the state record. All this shit. He went to University of Wisconsin, and he was like third string nose tackle and the second string punter. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. Like that's crazy. An athlete that was so gifted that no one was even close to in the state. Right. And it's, then he can't even make it to a D1 school. Yeah. Stay humble and be a starter. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, let, so your let, greatness. Let's be Would you rather go to a D1 school and ride the bench or a D2 school and actually play? He well, would, obviously, you want to play so you have anything on film yeah, for you tape his, to show coaches what you could. Yeah. yeah, that's all that matters. That's why people will go play even at like a JUCO. Yeah, but he's got a degree dominating. from the University like, of Wisconsin. A doctorate. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a awesome. fucking doctor. Awesome. Don't get me wrong. So it didn't pan out, but he's a fucking doctor. That's well, it did pan out, and he's a fucking yeah, doctor. Yeah, exactly. With a Wisconsin degree. But, but obviously a kid's dream and growing up, he probably wanted to be an NFL football oh, player sure. and a star. And when you're I that wanted good, to be an NBA player until I found out I was 5'11 and white. <laughs> <laughs> They already had Bobby off. Hurley. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't need it anymore. No, but you got to realize with him. There's only one. J- I'm like, Jason Williams, God damn you. With him, though, too, the running back, he was also a guy that was, what, just barely six foot, maybe 220. Yeah, there's some yeah, other kids and guys that are just he was he, he was just not big enough. Well, yeah, I mean, That's yeah. Look at your team. For running backs, 5'11". Our center in high school. Yeah. Our center running in high school. Those guys love it. Yeah, but in in when Scouts you get up to shit up. but you gotta get up when you get up to the college <clears> level, you got guys that are running fucking four four forties at two hundred, you know, fifty two hundred sixty pounds. Me. pounds. I mean, even quarterbacks nowadays they don't even do that much. I mean, they do throw still a lot, but you know what I mean. I a lot of the options, oh, quarterbacks yeah. throws. The quarterback. <laughs> I, I keep watching Frankie's mic just dive. It <laughs> is. I don't know. I'm going with the dumb. So low. what you do is you slide it back a little bit. See, that's what that's what it is. Oh God! Because there's more weight on the front. I'm about to fucking. You know what a fulcrum is? If we were at the Apollo right now, they would have got that. Oh, hook out. Sandman Sims is doing oh. the t- is tap dancing right now, yanking him off the stage. <laughs> How close? Now it's even shorter. It needs. I'm to adjusting get... my pole. Leave yes, it needs to get along. angled up. Yeah, that's not that one. Look at the length of Sean's pole compared to yours. <laughs> His pole is way bigger than yours. Yeah, I got the fucking it's shaft. More ways than one, baby. Bro, you need to extend that pole. You just told me I had a fucking. Just think happy. Movie. I didn't say you had to fucking short it up to the end. <laughs> it is no. Fuck off. All Look right, Dylan. We have a guest. What's up with you, bro? You chill, How you bro? feeling? He's I'm now good. more. How's life taking forever? Why <laughs> 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 oh, I keep smoking these cigs, man? I'm like, yo, let's go. Mm. Turkish oh, cab man. driver, you want to tell the story, <laughs> Sean? <Yeah. laughs> so, we go to Frankie's. I'm pretty sure I might have told this story, but we go to Frankie's to watch the the Bears game. The opening game, wasn't it? Was it not? Yeah, uh, it was. Yeah, I think it was that Packers game. It was a pack of Thursday night. And Di- I'm sitting on the couch, <laughs> and Dylan is in front of me. And this motherfucker, before the cigarette is deaded out, he's got the other one in his mouth. Bro, they stress <laughs> me out, man. And it's hard to watch. He was, they stress me out, man. Really... He was smoking like a Turkish cab driver. <laughs> That's how I do it. <laughs> Sean was watching the game through a cloud of smoke. For I, fucking... I left. When we left, I literally could peel the smoke off of me. Halftime, I'm pretty sure you got up and you like walked in a circle and you're like, Can we open a window and you sat back down. No window was open. <laughs> but like you, you just stated, I just need to move around real quick around the smoke. And then you realize like, it even, was everywhere. Even the lose tasted like, like a marble. Yeah, it was uh, pretty smoky. There was, that was a bad game. A it lot was a of terrible st- game, man. Yeah, it made, a lot of stress. If they were winning, I wouldn't have smoked you out. I'm sorry. And I'm it the happens. only non-smoker in here and I'm getting just fucking... Dick whipped by smoke on all the sides <laughs> right now. Right. I'll, I'll be joining you very, very soon. For what? You nice. quitting? Yeah. Lies. That a boy. What you mean? I have you... faith. Well, he quit. Hey. How long did you quit for? Uh, it was a year. And, and then, then he started I back up. Yeah. And then, and then he bought a fucking carton and put them all in his mouth at once. <laughs> it What's was, funny is I, I got to make I, up for a year of not smoking. <laughs> pretty I, much. I quit for a grip, too. And then Frankie's the one who kind of talked me back into smoking. Oh, and now here totally. he is. I'm quitting. I let, quit let for me, like three days when I had no teeth. Let me. Yeah, when you get a tooth pulled or something like that, and you, you know, like you can't smoke, then you're like, 
This might be a good time to get this. I tried, though, and I was like, nope, I'm going to try Frankie, it. I got a hold Frankie in my was mouth. doing bong rips with his nose, though, so he didn't have to put the thing against his mouth. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. You got to subtract one and do another. No, you know, it was a it was a fun summer. I remember I remember when it was too. We were out just walking around town, Lake Geneva, having some drinks, this and that. And I was just like, I want one. And I had one and I said YOLO and but obviously as more of recent events. No, you did you, good. We're we're all proud of you. Yes. Because uh, honestly, it honestly it cigarettes is fucking over, hard to it is. fucking quit. It really is. Because it is like your mind's so used to it, it's just like you know what I mean you have It's like a comfort food. thing. Yeah, especially like in a car, like when you're driving. Right, it's just that's like, the absolute worst. But I just use something else to hold and fidget my fingers. Like I get those little mostly his dick. Yeah, mm. <laughs> toothpick or a fucking <laughs> those little tubes out of the raw roll. There's roll one sitting in Jeff's yeah. Tahoe. What? Still the tube. One of those empty tubes. Is it? See, yeah, I was never used. <laughs> Fresh out of Jeff's butthole. Ooh, how dare you! Seasoned. Nothing I was surprised that I got your truck started. In my ass. I uh, oh, that hooker's finger, dude. Mm-mm. I didn't turn it off. Never knuckle. After I got your truck started, it Why took me turn 15, it off? Took me like fifteen minutes the first time. To what start it. When I, yeah, when I had to go pick up the trailer, I had to pick the trailer up. I just left it running the whole time, and then when I went inside yeah, the shop, you, and yeah, is that what you said I to me wait. today about mm-hmm. getting your truck started? Yeah, like yeah, I got you fired it right up. Yeah, right up. Put the key in, just turn it right over. You got it. I don't know, man. He's got the touch. Maybe you should buy that truck. <sighs> God damn it! I just <laughs> you got the touch. Just reminded me of Boogie Nights, where Mark Wahlberg was trying to release the album. <laughs> <laughs> you got the touch. You Great got movie. The power. He's such a fucking phenomenal actor. God, get your cock out of my Chrysler. <laughs> 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 greatest line ever written in a movie for me, myself, and I read. Get your cock out of my crest. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier, <laughs> about great comedies. Yeah, When's the last great comedy that's come out? Can you think of the last great... We went through this, the whole vortex. We <clears throat> went down the list. Everything, the last great comedies were made between 2006, 2006 and 2008. 2008. Well, 2010 okay. was borderline. Yeah. yeah, if I started thinking of like great When's comedies... When's the last movie you watched that you laughed watching by... That's when I that judge you, a true comedy, when you laugh you keep, by yourself. Say, and you keep saying that you use the sayings over and over again, too. Right. Can you think of one? I can't even think of one. Well, like, I, I really can think of movies. Recently, yeah, yeah there's recent nothing. Recent movies. And it seems more recent, but as I think about it, it probably is like 2006, 2008. Well, we look like Step Brothers. That was like, what, 2007? Yeah. Gold. Right. I was even thinking like Grandma's Boy and like that's, that's fucking that's like even older. older, right? Oh, four, four or five or something like that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's there is uh, no true comedy right now that you know why though too. We're in such a triggered fucking time. Everybody yeah, everyone's scared. There's no. Everybody's afraid they're gonna get fucking boycotted for saying something fucking. Yeah, you know, you know what though? There are some decent movies them. out there. They're not like the greatest in, in this and that. There's like, no comedies. But no, there's some funny seeing... movies I've watched. Like I remember watching like that movie Tag, where it's just a bunch of group of friends that play tag. That was whole a fun life. movie. It was a fun movie. There was some funny parts where I actually laughed out loud and it was good. But it's not like a full on like a Dumb and Dumber. Like or a, or yeah, a, like a, like it's meant to be a like comedy. Step Brothers. Com- I, mean, I think it's because wedding we're crashers. More. Stand ups more than ever. Stand ups everywhere. Make me laugh. My what? Ass. Have you watched uh, Bill Burr, Paper Tiger? Oh, so stand up. Yeah. Oh, so fucking good. hilarious. Is it? Yeah, it's so, so good. good. I'll have to check that out. What movie did we go see in the theater that we laughed out loud at? Uh, I know it was all of us because we were all fucking crying. When's mm-hmm. the last I think we were all just fucked up. Uh, I can't remember. Or we were laughing at your laugh. Yeah, <laughs> one of the two might have been. I don't remember. see. It must see, have not been like, that good because we don't remember. You're known for your laugh, and your family has fucking all crazy laughs. Yeah, Frankie oh, was man. pointing it out. Oh yeah, night. bro. Listen, listen, bro, listen, to this. If you get laughing fucking crazy, if you get Jeff's two sisters and their mom in the same room and try to figure out which one's laugh is different, they're they're, all they're the exact Even same. Even Jeff laugh. has a unique laugh. I remember when me and him were kids, and we were like walking through uh, the, the lodge where we were snowboarding and we were looking for his mom and we were on one side of the building, which is pretty real fucking good distance from the other side. 
and we were walking down by the pizza place, and all of a sudden we heard his mom laugh. We instantly both turned around and started she's heading. Over there. Boom! She's over there. We walked right to her and found her instantly over by the fireplace. It was like like just, a football field. Right? right, dude. It was yeah. There she is. It just their it voice stands out. Their voice They're pitch unique. is right at that perfect <laughs> echo point where you could hear them laugh in the most crowded, loud bar. You could peel their laughter out of it for sure. Thanksgiving, and Christmas is a oh. fucking blast. <laughs> Let me tell Windows you, just my fucking breaking. family parties hard, hard, hardy, hardy, hard, hard. It's a good time. It sounds uh, like my family. It's yeah, like wild. yeah, we go hard. Everybody's wild. Just alcohol. You alcohol can't let everyone. loose in front of your family. Janine's, what the fuck? Janine's uncles are just off the wall. And it's awesome. They make holidays so fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. See, that's what I mean. Holidays shouldn't be like off. Oh, Fuck, we gotta go over there. I just want to stay home and not put pants on. See, I miss the holidays of my youth because my grandparents. Of course, my <laughs> grandparents too. were the the fucking center of the party. So all their friends and shit would come in. They lived in Park Ridge. All their friends would come in from the city, like they used to go out to the bar with. Everybody would be in the basement playing cards. All the old men. My grandfather would be behind the bar, just fucking slinging drinks. And it Cleanest was, I ever saw in my grandma's house. It was when family comes over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> During holidays. Yep. Other than that, her table's covered in newspapers. And, and coffee cake. My grandma would be cooking all fucking day. And it'd just be insane. The amount I miss all those all the people that are gone now. Like all my grandparents' friends, they're all, you know, eighty plus years old now and are decrepit old people. But when they were in their prime, when they were in their you know, fi- late fifties, early sixties some of the funniest fucking people I've ever met in my life. Yeah, and what you know. sucks too is like in the in the moment you don't like appreciate it. You're no. young, you like right. you know I love but when you're like thirteen you don't wanna be there. Right. You wanna be well, fucking yeah. with your friends and it's like doing a party. I'm gonna call up, see what everyone got. But it's like Christmas. those are the times I remember. Right. Like just chilling with the fam. It was it's really good to watch VHS tapes of like when you were a kid. Not mine. No? See, no, there's a lot of soccer videos and shit of me. <laughs> playing on my dick. Play with your dick at the <laughs> soccer field? Not playing? Just staying the fuck away from that ball. <laughs> Why see, would I was the only kid for a long time until I was like in third grade. That's when I got remarried. So I grew up quick. <laughs> like I, I, I was always confused because I, I, d- I didn't know you when I was growing up, but I was friends with your brother, yeah. Sean. Yeah. And uh, I was like, why the fuck did they name two kids Sean? Yeah. <laughs> my, my family tree is fucking weird. Like, so, yeah. There was me and my mom. Then it became my stepdad came in with his three kids. And then that was Maynard, Savannah, and Renee. I think they made a show about this. And then. It's called the Brady <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. More white trash than that. But <sighs> And then my mom and. Ed had Zach. So that's how my family tree is. So my stepdad was married three times. My mom was married twice. Ma- Maynard, Maynard from his second wife, Sean. The girls were from his first marriage, and Zach was from him and my mom. That's, I got a headache now. My brain is <laughs> overload. And my real dad never got remarried. Homeboy lives in Vermont. Grows weed. <laughs> Living his best life, YOLO. Sold his car because he's like, ah, fuck it. They got public transportation. I just go to the store and back. Right, Uber. Fucking right. No, he doesn't even. No, dude, he has a flip phone still, bro. There ain't no Uber on his phone. Straight up bus. He Give fucking bus walks. Tokens. They don't have a number you could just call? No. Bro, if you, if you want to hear like a real fucking brain teaser, Milady's uh, ex neighbor. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> She had a kid with this guy, and then she had a kid with his brother. Wow. Oh. See, that's why there's words like So her like first kid is her uncle Skank. and stepdad. Whore. Oh, yeah. Wow. And then her that's second Kenosha kid. That's for you. Her second kid. <laughs> wow. You know, has the dad and the uncle. It's just. Holidays are probably really fun at that up? house. I was like, what? And she was like, I, I mean, I still really don't understand it. So, yeah, the first kid's new stepdad is 
stepdad slash uncle. I'm confused. I'm still confused about it. What is happening right now? I think you're Jerry, just, you're Jerry, just, Jerry, <laughs> Jerry. Those 50-50s are getting to you. No, that's just the Kenosha water. I get, <laughs> that's dude, what happens. That's got to be. That's what I'm saying, man. There's, there's fucking things that you just don't do. Like having like a kid what? with... Like, your ex bang your yeah. best friend's sibling? Yeah. <laughs> well, even out of respect, like, I I love you guys, you yeah. know? And th- there's just rules. I would I would never fuck one of your exes. I'm sorry. Right. I don't care how fucking hot she is. That's it fair. ain't happening. See, I, I'll, I'll, fuck happening. One, I'll fuck one of your one-night stands, though. That's different. It's different. Yeah, it's someone a throw you it's, like, it's just yeah. like you guys were just having fun. Someone, someone you out. hung out with and act- someone you took to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> that means it's official. If you ever took you her guys to the movies. Going steady if you're at the movies. Did you pull the popcorn trick? Hmm? Did you <laughs> pull the popcorn right. trick at the, the old first wiener day? in the popcorn trick. Extra, it's already you know how hard it is to get you that want butter, butter off your dick. You goddamn oh, yeah. right, I do. <laughs> you know how hard it is to get that butter off your dick if she don't get it all. Oh, it's fucking scrubbing hilarious. for days. <laughs> so I guess is is that still the uh, the standard? If you take them to the movies, you're dating. Not anymore. No, now it's Facebook. Now if you, if, if you go Facebook, Facebook official, official, you officially oh, yeah, have a is, dick. That is true. Swipe it's left. Be. You officially have a dick. And thank God for Facebook for saving all the dates so I can remember shit. 100%. Like, oh, it's my niece's birthday today. (laughs) Right. Right. Oh, hey, honey, it's our anniversary. Thank you, Facebook, for saving my ass. You know what was nice when when you talk to family members and they're like, like I seen your sisters today. Oh, I miss you. I love you. I haven't seen you forever. Yeah, but like back in the day, we would just pick up the phone and say, hey, I'm having a little get together over this weekend. You want to come on over, have a few drinks? We're gonna be doing blah 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 blah. blah. Sure, no problem. I'll stop by and make an appearance. But now, if I get fucking some invite on Facebook that I don't check, I don't. Hey, make you it. have an you, you have, have an to, event coming soon. You have to <laughs> right. Cha- you have to roll with the times, man. No, I don't. People who still have my number could just call me. Like when you guys said you wanted to hang out tonight, you know what you did? You called me and you're like, "Hey, bro, you wanna?" Yeah, but that's like, more yeah. for like fringe friends. Yeah, your well, no, boys are always gonna show up. Yeah, you don't even need to tell them. You're like, dude, how'd you know about this? <laughs> bro, I just did. Bro, bro, it happened. They just show up at your house. Brodar, um, <laughs> Brodar, <laughs> saying, bro, that's, a, that's fucking a, call me. Maybe you know what I mean. And that's even fine too. If like I don't see you for a while, just hit me up on the phone and be like, "What's up, bro? What's new? How you been? What's going on? Yeah, let's try to plan something. Why to get you together. no call me? Why you no Why call, you call me? Why you no call me? Like, like, you could try to plan something, like a camping trip or something, going to the Dells or, you know, hitting the casino for the weekend, going away up north to go fucking snowboarding, whatever. It's just a plan. Maybe once or twice a year you get together. People don't plan no more. I no, can't plan nothing. Jeff don't plan. I don't, don't plan, plan shit. You at can't. Because he thinks he's going to no, get no, disappointed. No, no, no. If you get disappointed, Jeff just look not, up at the stars. You could be like, we're going here, 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 and here. But why do that? Why not do that? I'm just because, saying, all right, let's say, hey, dude, plan? we're going to go Here up to the Dells. As soon as we get there, we're going to set up camp. Then we're going to go to fucking Monks to eat. Then we're going to go over here. Okay, we go up there. We set up. Guess what? It's fucking dark. Takes a little longer than expected. Everyone starts getting frustrated. Fuck, we should have ate already. Okay, then we go to the place everyone wanted to go eat at. Oh, it's fucking closed. Guess who's not upset? Me, because I didn't plan any <laughs> yeah. of this. So then we had the to go to The person who plans this. Is all fucking pissed off because they really had it set in their mind. As soon as I'm done setting up this tent, we are going here to eat, and that's it. Right, but that's just like right now. If I wanted to like leave and be like, bro, I'm gonna get Taco Bell on the way home, and they're fucking closed, I'm still disappointed. And you know what? That wasn't right. But planned. did you really plan it? No. No. We're if you plan it, like, hey, right dude, now, it's a plan. If you plan it, you're like, dude, I'm gonna do the over... podcast, and then we're gonna go to Taco Bell, and right. we're gonna fucking smash. Well, and then you showed up at Taco Bell, and it was fucking closed. You'd be pissed as fuck. Yeah. If you just, you know, wong it. I don't know. You mean wing it? Well, is that the past tense? I'm <laughs> saying <laughs> past tense would have been wong. Yes. Is that I'm sorry. So, it is I, now, motherfuckers. I thought, it, I thought it before I said it, and I was like, Patent I was gonna word. say, hey, if Patent I if I wong. were to just wing it, right? I think that's what if, wong, but what that's if you wung it, wung it, pound sign wong. <laughs> okay, uh, let's talk about this. We need to get into this. Okay. <laughs> Frankie's winging it right now. 
He's yeah. wanging it. Or but if it would happen yesterday, did he, he wang it? it? <laughs> <laughs> In Frankie's case, yes. Oh fuck, that is that's the learning channel right there. I'm confused. I'm I'm right there with you. I, I, I understand. I'm confused, but I understand the English language. So either way, I wang shit. Wang Chung the night. You understand what I'm doing? Yeah, you're okay. high five and all Showing these people. Showing us your hairy high palms. Five. Slap hands. No. Slap, slap, slap hands. I'm saying there's slap five hands. minutes left of the slap fucking hands. podcast. You're not getting enough vitamins. Slap hands. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it was just a little knee slapper. It was all That was content. upper thigh, guy. Two. It was right next to his cock. Oh, man. He did say he was willing to jerk man, everybody's dick off. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, saying bro, you, he's just putting it out there. He's just jerking people's <laughs> jerking people's dicks off. I'm jerking dick off. I so, guess I gotta work on my kicks. We are going to eventually do the uh, the Joker uh, podcast. But yeah, that was gonna oh happen. There God. was some. Un- you guys haven't seen it. Yet? I still haven't seen it. No, nope. the fuck. I We're have. all gonna go see it together and then come and talk about it. These two Which have is- seen it. Yes, yeah, so those two these two. Shut I up. think you guys need a movie to review. Just shut up. We were supposed to do this for weeks ago. Jeff, we need to talk about this. We will. You're not talking not about it the now. Right. Not, yeah, you they need haven't to bring seen me on yet. for this. Please, this is like a tease. Oh, please, this is a big tease. I don't know if we talked about that. We were gonna go to the movies. I don't think we have enough mics. It. We need like sixteen. Oh, you're gonna have like sixteen people down here talking about this. Oh, I got two more spots, so we can have six people on this podcast. Bruh, bruh, bring a mic. And bring your A game. Too much in all of this. <laughs> bring a mic and bring your A game. All I'm saying is There's... we actually need to plan this. Because <laughs> the movie plays at times. <laughs> you I'm can't just w- go into the I'm theater and be like, it. hey, I'm going to watch that. See, I wanged it when <laughs> I went and saw it. It starts in an hour and a half. I got home from work and I was like, and you looked at I want to see the Joker. Time. So I looked on my movie. phone and I was like, okay. Did you guys uh, boom, have boom, like I some bought wine tickets or white claws? I said, "Hey, my what lady. time was the movie at?" Oh, it doesn't matter. That's a plan. You plan to go at that time. Yeah, you didn't just walk. You didn't just into walk the into the theater. Yeah, but I, I didn't plan it all day. I didn't plan it all fucking night. But you planned I didn't on plan it when you got week. home. When you, you got home, you made a plan to go see it. a movie. I guess after the Bears game tomorrow, I'll just go see it. I'm not, no, I'm, we're gonna see it together. Yeah, I thought that's the thing. I we're going to all go watch it together. and then see it again, Dylan? Yes. All right. So then we're all going to watch it together, and then we're going to come back here, and we're going to discuss. So there will be a spoiler alert next episode. No, if it's going to be a bonus episode. No, it's bonus? not going to be the next episode. Right. It's going to be once, once it's done, once we see it together. Because be. we can't plan it out, guys. We. we can't give you a date of when this is going to be. Because I don't want to do a whole podcast of like a fucking spoiler. You know? Alright, so all right, right, fine. We'll do, we'll do a little... It'll be a nice in. little treat for people who have We're seen just gonna it. We're just going to wong it. And if yeah. you <laughs> I'm wonging it, bro. It's going to wong it. Wang right. Chung tonight. <laughs> Everybody, Actually, come on. we would be winging it until it, after it. Then after it we, wong. after it happened, then we wong it. Wow. Then we, it, it would have been wong. <laughs> Hashtag English language. Go fuck myself. Uh, right? It's a pound no, sign. No, it's a pound sign, bro. Pound Any sign. Uh, Whatever. English teachers just comment. That's teacher. what I need to marry. And be an English teacher. I think the best thing. She would just be corrected, you constantly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't All my Texas would have right? fucking red lighting circles back what would be the best way probably twitter right twitter's like i mean Twatting? Twi- tweeting emails like 2002 tgb no one, pod did, one does anyone What's email it? us besides no. that yeah, one, one guy person? did yeah you know person, who emails us dude, soundcloud girl. telling us how to get more followers and it doesn't work <laughs> man <laughs> just tell them but those guys in well, brazil Brazil. Stand up. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the homies. Shout out to Brazil. Shout, Shout out. out Brazil. We're going to go through uh, Fast and Furious. I think it was six when they were in Brazil. That would be a day to We're going to break movies. that down. You know what I want to do? I want to have a whole day on a nice rainy day. Just watch all the Harry Potters. No. Fuck you guys. I love right. that shit. I'm all about Harry Potter. Right? That's what I'm awesome. talking about. I bet you are. How dare I you. I love my Fucking Harry Potter. magic, bro. That's eh, too much. I turned you in a toad. You're it's a wizard, much, Harry. T- it's too much chicanery going on. Oh, oh bullshit. What is the matter with you? It, you know what, Frankie? I will watch the Harry Potter movies when you read the Harry Potter books. Have you read all the it books? It would take me like 50 years. I don't have that right. long. Exactly. Have so you I'm read never the books? Watching, 
I'm no, because I'm not into wizards. So why what the fuck I, do we if, have to read the book? What if I? I've never read them. any book that was a movie. I didn't watch. I didn't read the fucking Shining. No, which is actually nothing. having another. Um, no, I'm movie just saying. If you that. want me to watch that movie, I gotta read, read the, the book. What if I listen to it on audible? That that'll work too. That'll, that'll be about sixteen hours. All right, I'm, so I'm in the car for two hours a day. So I could get that. Why do fucking, we have to mess I, with the books to watch? Honestly, I'm gonna be a hundred percent. That's what it's gonna take for him to experience a fucking magical. Why would you take that? He's missing out. Let him miss out. Honestly, to me, there's yeah, no there's yeah. no difference between <laughs> there's no difference between. Harry Potter and Twilight. Oh, you shut your oh, fucking oh, that face. Fight. On that I'm note, the wing that's a yo, perfect <laughs> one. That's a perfect one to end it on right there. Trash. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> laying the hammer down. How dare all you. Right, for Jeff, for Frankie, for Dylan, I am Sean. Thank you all for listening. Woo. We'll be back next week with another fun-filled edition of The Gentleman's Den. Thanks for having me. Always. Love you. Much love. Woo!